So we haven't really discussed Hawkeye, mm. but we did discuss Loki, WandaVision, Falcon, and Soldier. Um, did you want to uh, go into Hawkeye briefly? Sure. I mean, I thought Hawkeye, I think like most of the Marvel series, like they're, they're, they have really strong starts and then kind of have um, mediocre endings. Um, yes. Which, you know, I thought Hawkeye, I thought the the back and forth between Hawkeye and, and Kate Bishop was great. I thought... I, I really, I felt they had great chemistry. Um, I was somewhat annoyed at like the, the addition of, of the black, of the new black widow. I thought that was cramming too much into the story. I, she was funny. I thought she also had great chemistry with Kate Bishop. Um, I did think they had far too much to resolve at the end and, um, resolved random stuff that I didn't think really needed resolving like like i didn't need all of the stuff on um uh echo's uh friend what was this kazi we didn't need that much kazi like kazi could have disappeared in episode five and not been in the ending and and saved a bunch of time you know like i didn't honestly we didn't need that much uh we didn't need that much uh echo I, yeah I, I don't really see the reason why she needed to be in this show it was, it was only because she's gonna have her own series like she's she's a fascinating character. She's a fascinating actress. I think it's going to be a really cool series. Um, but yeah, I I didn't need to ha- I need I didn't need to her, her to have this big cl- all this closure with with Kazi, like that that wasn't even established in the show that much. Like you know, or her facing off against the the kingpin, which who who's thrown in there all at the end. You know, like. Um, they're, they're cr- trying to cram a little too much in the ending there. but uh... I find it funny. Everyone has chemistry with Kate Bishop. That actress is really cool. She's I, great. I like her. Oh, she's, oh my, yeah. she's great. She, 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 is a, she, is, she is so likable. Um, you know, you, you just feel like she's, even though she's a superhero, like you just feel like she's an average person. I, and it's similar mm-hmm. to Hawkeye in a sense. You know, Hawkeye is a, little, is a little less funny, you know, and he's more serious. But, you know, they're... I would say the strengths of the series is there's there's a lot of really good laughs in Hawkeye. Um, I would say it's a funnier series than WandaVision or <clears throat> or Falcon. Um, maybe not as funny as Loki, but it's a it's a really funny series. And I and I thought, you know, the two like the two of them having trouble hijinks, you know, Clint and, and, and Kate Bishop is just a really funny it's just a really great combo and it, it just it worked like when they were on screen together doing stuff getting in each other's way annoying each other it worked it really and it worked really well um and then they were just like well we've got to think about the the 17 uh spin-off shows that we're going to do so let's <laughs> let's shove some things in see what see see how we got we have to set up young avengers and we have to set up echo and who knows maybe we'll have a swordsman show and then we got to have we got to have the kingpin and oh god like it's so much that was a good subversion of expectations. Um, I expected the uh, the step. I forgot his name. The stepdad, the guy with the sword yeah. and mustache. I expected him to be some like evil villain behind the scenes, but he was just a guy. Yeah, no, it, it worked out pretty well. But there was nothing. There was absolutely <laughs> nothing to him. <laughs> like he was just he was he was just a guy who. Is comp- I feel like that was the showrunners fucking with us after WandaVision. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, I mean, see, this we this brings us back to the discussion of of subverting expectations. Like the expectations are sub- like it's set up that the swordsman is the villain, but it makes more sense that her mom is the villain. It's much more fitting. Everything that was set up, her, her dad's debts, like um, you know who really controls the company with the secu- you know with the su- the security firm and and things like that. It doesn't. It never really made sense that that the the swordsman would be would be the villain. And so you, you're, you're subverting, maybe not subverting expectations very much because a lot of people predicted that it was going to be uh, her mother, but it makes more sense that her mother is the villain than the swordsman, you know? Like, mm-hmm. yeah, but. Uh, and poor Jeremy Renner, give him a break. Let let him go off and do his thing. I don't know if we, we discussed this, but did you, uh, someone mention the Jeremy Renner app? I feel like you did mention it in the I past. I did, I did. Yeah, the Jeremy Renner app, it's gone. It no longer exists. But there used to be a Jeremy Renner app. 
Jeremy Renner, he's uh he's a uh, he's the man. So he apparently he dared Disney to recast him because anything he's a part of, he always asks for like the weekends off mm. to go spend time with his family. And <laughs> and he and he so dared this Hawkeye. <laughs> So it's so apparently pretty much, and he goes like, "Yeah, what are you gonna do? Recast me? Go ahead, do it. Yeah. Recast me. Go ahead, do it." Um, so Hawkeye was pretty cool, and I no offense to the audience, uh, definitely not worth like its own giant podcast episode. Sorry guys, but <laughs> Hawkeye was cool. That's the thing. It's it's there's nothing there's nothing too deep about it. It's just a fun series where with with two characters bantering and bickering with each other. Um, and who who beat some people up? Like there's nothing there's nothing like you know too incredibly deep about it. You know, it's a nice Christmas adventure. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I will say Marvel's uh, movie side this year was not that great. Obviously, No Way Home, awesome, but Eternals, nah. It's funny for a movie with so many really big plot holes, you don't care because it's such a good movie. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I I do wonder how they're going. Screen Crush, who I go to for like all my Marvel uh, yeah, Easter yeah. eggs, they try to you know fill those plot holes, and uh, no, you can't. for the most part, they do a good job. But you still have so many questions about like, okay, what about the YouTube videos showing Peter is Spider Man? Oh sure, there, there's so many, that? there's so many, th- there's so many plot holes with just like, wait, all of these, all of these. Villains are supposed to die, except no, that's not actually the fate of Sandman or or um, or uh, the Lizard or you know like that's 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 not true at all. You know, um, it's just weird. Yeah, the the plot holes are huge, but it's so good. It's so good. The, William Defoe stole that fucking oh my, film. He's so Holy he's so shit. good. But, but and and um, uh, Spider Man number two is so good. Um, uh, Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield is so good. He's so. You can tell he was really happy to be there. I, but he's also just like, like he's he's emoting better than everybody else, it, and and you're just like he, he's doing better than he did in his Spider-Man movies. Like he he really stepped it up as a as an actor. He's really really good. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I, I thought I thought. I thought everybody did a good job. There were some laughs, some really great laughs. I don't know what you didn't see it in the theater, but I saw it in the theater, and there's definitely some. The biggest laugh in the entire in the entire uh, theater was when I'm, I'm going to spoil one joke. When Ned is like, "So, do you have a best friend?" And Toby McGuire's <laughs> you know, Toby McGuire's like, "Yeah, I do." They're like, "What happened to him?" Ah, uh, he died in my arms after. He died in my arms after trying to trying to kill me. It was it was actually one of like the worst worst moments of my life. And it's just like, but I mean, I couldn't deliver it. But it was like Toby Maguire delivered it, and the look on Ned's face, like the entire audience was just like in this incredibly nervous uproar over over that over that like. And I was like, is that supposed to be funny? Because it really was funny. <laughs> The funny thing is, this is like actually like a. I love how meta the movie was with a lot of its jokes. Yeah, a lot of yeah. it were memes. Like, of course, William Defoe saying, uh, Norman Osborn saying, "I'm something of a scientist myself." That's a that's a huge meme. Yeah. And so was like when Ned goes, "Peter," and they're all pointing at each other. Which which one? Which one of yeah, us? Yeah. That's a huge meme. I don't know if you've seen those memes. I, I have. I have. I have. Um, but there's a huge theory that Ned is going to be the hobgoblin. Well, in the comic book, he's he's the hob he's the hobgoblin. But um, Ned, I thought I thought Harry was. <clears throat> well, there's 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 hobgoblin one and there's hobgoblin three. So in the original, oh yeah. So in the original comic book, obviously Norman Osborn is the original, the original Green Goblin, and then his son becomes the second Green Goblin, who then takes on a, a different alias, the Hobgoblin, and then after that. They, other people become the Hobgoblin, including Ned becomes one of them. So oh, that, that, I did not know. There's that. actually That's a Green uh... Goblin and a Hobgoblin in the in the uh, in the in the series uh, in the comics. So um, it was a, so yeah. So there, there, that's the thing about Marvel Comics is there's many Green Goblins and there's many Hobgoblins and there's many of every villain, like many different people taking up the mantle, like. You know, how many people have been Venom these days, you know? It's just... Right, right. Um, 
I gotta say, the, my 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 favorite part of the film has got to be, and this is for nostalgia purposes only. It's the for me, it's the best part of the film. It's when Doc Ock has the arc reactor in his hand, and mm. he's like, "The power of the sun," and then Toby comes in and finishes in the palm of your hand, and he's like, "Peter, my boy, you've grown." And like the song comes on, and yeah. like, oh my, I tear it up a little bit. It's that's that's nostalgia right there. They did it perfectly. They did the impossible in that they created a great movie by itself, but then they created. <clears throat> this this movie that was also a fitting ending to two other series, you know, um, most notably, I think it's 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 very good ending for for the Andrew Garfield series, but but also for the Tobey Tobey Maguire series, and then you know also fitting it into the multiverse of madness kind of Doctor Strange thing. Um, you know, all of these things at once. And then being a meta commentary on Spider-Man itself, you know, like outside, mm-hmm. and, and pulling it all off and having an emotional story where the protagonist has so many, he, he makes so many sacrifices. That's why I think it's so good is that like, it's, there's, there's so many sacrifices that Spider-Man has to make um, in the end. And it's just, you know, it works. It works. Like that, deci- his decision at the end, like, he was so stupid in the beginning, but you kind of just are, are like, okay, he's he's a he's a kid, you know. And Doctor Strange is so so stupid in the beginning, like, come on, like, let's sit down and like write things out for like two minutes. Don't be like, okay, let's do it. Let's do an incredibly massive magic spell <laughs> that I'm gonna screw up. Like, oh my god, like, what are you doing? That was really, that was really dumb. But it it, it all works out. It all works out. Marvel, like I said, Marvel, um, for th- their movie lineup this year, with the exception of No Way Home, um, was kind of eh. Shang Chi, yeah. Eternals, eh. Sh- Shang Chi is yeah, very mediocre. Um, I-, I-, I thought I thought Aquafina is hilarious in that movie, but other than Aquafina's performance, because she's everything Aquafina touches is is just funny as hell. I gotta disagree. I thought she was the most annoying part of of Shang Chi. Uh, I wanted more of the sister. Um. Yeah, it's true that the sister had had what had a really weird diminished role. Um, I thought my problem with Shang Chi is that it was very there was a lot that was very East Asian movie, like very like I don't know how much Chinese cinema that you've seen, but Chinese cinema like constantly has these like um, let's go back to their childhood and look at their origin and 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 stuff where everybody's connected and. It was just useless. Like go, going back in time and 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 watching that romance story between the villain and and the the woman he finds in the woods. Like all oh, that could have been cut, you know. But at least they brought back uh, the Mandarin and they explained like yeah. the whole Mandarin thing. Wow, well, it's Ben Kingsley. I mean, he's gonna be he's gonna be great no matter what he does. <laughs> but uh, no, uh, Marvel had a great year with television. Uh, Hawkeye, I liked Loki. I loved. WandaVision was pretty good. Falcon and Winter Soldier, I would argue, is their weakest thing that they put out this year. Um, and that's mostly because Falcon and Soldier, you had a, a great idea. Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know if this was confirmed or not, but you made a good point about how they probably changed up the story because of the pandemic. There was a lot of yeah, stuff added. And it's funny watching Hawkeye because you can also tell the lines that are added later to like make one scene transition to the other. You know, there's a lot of that in Falcon, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. It was, you know, it didn't it didn't work as a story as well as as Loki or or Wanda, you know, which were which were, yeah. I mean, I I'm trying to think of 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 the ones I liked the most. I liked Loki the most, and I, I liked Wanda the second most. I think. 